What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the new 5.0 Ragnarok Stealth Troll, the Loki, fully maxed and fully boosted with Halos. In my opinion, the best setup on the Loki robot, and I'm gonna prove this to you in this video. Let's first, the contents of this video is a how-to uh, combat in free fall with the Loki, right? Then a how-to beacon rush with the Loki. We have a speed test Loki versus Hellburner, and then we have at the end a section showing you how the Loki Loki changes the game, um, you know, ch judging by how much change we are able to do right here. Okay, and since since this video is called how to Loki, I'm gonna emphasize a lot on the ability to use cloak and uncloak and make the best use of the lockdown and the uh, ability to always get close to your enemy right with the mu with this much speed that you have on this loki robot when in stealth and the fact you're stealthed forever as long as you like you can always or very often you can counter the quantum radar of enemies right you can bait them to use quantum radar and then when they do you just you know wait it out and then they have no quantum radar and you can go close to him as much as you want like this guy for example you see the eye icon over his head? That means he has just activated Quantum Raider. That means also I may as well drop my stealth and fire back at him because I have no protection for this time anyways. Now the Blitz Robot was good, he, may, he, he caught me in the suppression, but from within the shield, once the suppression is gone, I'm able to drop him really, really quickly. Now, one really good advantage, and that's probably the best thing that the Loki offers for you, is the fact that you always get close, right? And that's why, obviously, shotgun weapons are the best thing you can run on the Loki. Um, you always manage to get very close and that is also why you are the perfect counter to an Ares Ares is a very tough and very hard to kill robot and uh, it's very fast on top of that the lockdown weapons allow you to also lock down the Ares from time to time when he's not having his shield that's very good, useful to getting closer fast um, to him and uh, and the, the next thing here is of course with this speed look you, you get close like even with um, and, and then you have the, the high power shotgun weapons right that will allow you to deal massive damage now this guy here is that's a very interesting battle here um, the enemy has a scourge a lockdown a lock on weapon right weapons like scourge spark calamity or ion zeus uh, or aphid thermite all these weapons have a three to four second lock on and since you can constantly drop stealth bring stealth drop stealth you can play with their lock on time and abuse that for yourself right and in this situation the best thing you can do in the loki since this is a how to is not to drop the stealth now because look here at the arrow indicators there's a red arrow indicator showing there's an enemy behind me a red indicator down here an enemy behind me so if this guy is a smart player he will have somebody locked on right and if i uncloak in front of him he simply taps the target to me insta switch and starts firing right away with no four second lock on time so that's why if you are playing this uh, Loki very careful and skillful, you're gonna get behind the enemy. So even if he locks on to someone, and you see he has currently locked on to the Nemesis. That means he he has a lock on established. He also he only needs to switch to me and instantly fire when I drop stealth. And that's why I go behind him. For that now, he 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 must do a 180 degree turn to be able to get me in his sight. And chances are he's gonna lose his lock on, right? And that's what I abuse here very badly. And after every kill, first drop the stealth. After killing no matter who you kill, first boom, drop the stealth. Chances are somebody's already targeting you, shooting you, whatever. You're gonna lo make them lose their targeting if they have a targeting weapon. Uh, or you're gonna make them waste their rockets, their firepower, or be unable to fire uh, in general, right? Always drop your stealth for a second after a kill. Check your surroundings, what's going on, and then engage the next guy. And only disengage stealth when you know either the enemy is busy doing something that's the best way the best way to play the loki is in a way where the enemy isn't even shooting you because you don't have that much health you can't survive a brawl very long uh you must make sure that when you drop your stealth you either kill the enemy before he kills you or he's busy in the optimum case and he's not even going to shoot back at you that's the perfect condition you're playing like a little sissy that's what the, the loki is right and uh, in this case, this Spectre makes a huge mistake. He's running away, he didn't have Quantum Raider, otherwise he would have already used it. And he's running away 
getting, you know, he's he's feeling the pressure of me coming close to him. He's He, he feels as he must do something. And that's what he does. He opens fire. He wastes all his Tulumba rockets now. And now he's empty. Now I know I can kill him. The only thing that kept him alive was the fact that he still had ammo in his weapons. By the way, Quantum Raider here on the Spectre. Run away as fast as possible, wait out the Quantum Raider, then he can't stop you from getting close anymore. Get close, whoop him in three shots with the Halo. Boom. And then, reinitiates Stealth. This guy's coming in, Stealth. Also active, Quantum Raider, you see it here. I simply wait out these four or five seconds, and then I'm gonna do exactly what I've shown you before against the Ao Guang with Scourge. He's got a lock-on weapon, aphid and spark. I'm simply going to walk behind him, and now it's a free kill. This is like, you know, he's unable to freaking do anything. He can't do anything against that. There's no chance for him to even fire back at you when you walk behind him. Because he can't establish a lock-on in time before you have him killed. He will not be able to fire back. That's really, really... That's really, you know, poor, uh, uh, like for this guy, it's really bad. Like he's gonna be so bummed, he can't do anything. It's so crazy. Uh, but that's how you play it if you wanna help get the maximum out of your, uh, um, out of your, um, Loki. And other thing is also with the stealth, you often find cover. You can always run after the enemy and use some kind of cover, whatever you can find. For example, this silo here in front of me and just use it as a cover to, sh to corner shoot the guy, right? He can't do anything because I'm corner shooting him. Now he realizes that he can just fire at me general direction and he gets a few hits on me. That was my mistake because I should have tried to stay underneath him in a lower level. But again, with the stealth, what I do, I find myself the next silo and then I'm making a mistake I thought I have the left weapon still and now I realized and corner shoot to the right see that without taking any real substantial damage I kill the full Haichi because I I use my stealth not just to get close but also to find myself an advantage position against him and going back on the Tulumba Spectre before the only thing that kept the Tulumba Spectre alive was his full load of Tulumba missiles. I didn't want to catch that, right? I didn't want to get caught by all those Tulumba rockets, but once he fired them empty, his leverage was gone. There was nothing left keeping him alive. Right? Just keep that in mind. Oh, and by the way, if you like these kind of hide how-tos, this tutorial, maybe you found one or two inform you know, useful information in this here. Um, and uh, by the way, I'm getting myself killed purposely by enemy two. On purpose, I'm not using stealth so that enemy two kills me, right? Because enemy two is not second, third, or fourth. He's far away from becoming the first player. He's no threat to me in this first free-for-all combat, so he may as well just get my kill for free. Right, and then I can uh, spawn in with a fresh robot and my my high contender who's second or third They haven't gotten a kill and now I'm showing you the absolute counter to the Ares That's why it's the counter, right? This is how why Ares is gonna have a bit of a problem now when more and more Loki's coming in Although of course as usual I don't get to lock him down even with three halos even at short range with five six shots I can kill him and even if he did use his shield with the ability of this much speed and cloak, I can walk inside his shield, no problem, and just kill him from within, right? The only thing you may need to make sure is that the Ares has already used his Quantum Raider or does not have Quantum Raider. In this case, you can always get close and then you can just flatten the Ares. If he has last stand, you will die. If you have last stand and he has last stand, he will die. Because if the conditions are the same, he's gonna take the fall, right? And what I was gonna say before when I got interrupted by myself, uh, damn it, Manny, stop interrupting yourself, uh, is if you like this kind of how to's, right? You found it entertaining or just, you know, informative, please consider subscribing to the channel, guys. Uh, I'm doing much more of this new content, but also I'm trying, I, I revived my own War Robots account, I activated premium on it. I'm gonna give you some how to's and play styles on my, of my own account where I don't run maxed out stuff. So a lot of variety is coming up. And uh, if you like this kind of stuff, you enjoy enjoy that please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done that yet and also hitting that notification bell for me it will help me out a lot and it gets you notified for the upcoming videos 
Here I was trying to be tricky. You saw how I weaseled out of the situation, right? And I was trying to get a free kill before I die. That was my challenge right there. Getting one more kill with 1000 HP. But unfortunately the invader was ready for it. He was just waiting for me to make my move and he got me. And so is this guy now when he tries to shoot, corner shoot me, right? I'm getting hit by Halo and I don't want to get locked down because I need to stay close to him. So uh, I disengage stealth and I just kill him. You can even brawl against an a a Avenger and... Um, and Halo shotgun Mercury because you you got the, the necessary firepower with these three shotguns, you know And you do have quite a bit of health. It's almost the same health that a Mercury have, has, I believe So it's not like a, a Strider, and uh, uh, no, and Strider is also not bad It's not like a Spectre, for example. You do have a bit of health. You can take a few hits, but not too many, okay? So, and uh, one thing that the uh, that I haven't spoken about yet is that the Loki has the ability to dodge fire, right, when in stealth. This robot, for example, Falcon, is too high. His mounted weapon is too high. He can't shoot me when I don't drop the stealth, right? So, uh, that's interesting. Also, Lancelot's uh, in Inquisitors, they can't hit you. I think in most uh, robots like Raven, Griffin and uh, Ares and such, they can also not really hit you. They may score here and there a little hit, but uh, they can't really hit you when you're in stealth and they don't have Quantum Raider. Unless the, you are higher standing, then they can shoot into you. No, unless you... Yeah, when you stand higher. Um, and uh, that's also an advantage, right? Keep in mind, however, invaders, they kill you. They counter the Loki perfectly because they are so flat and low on the ground with their weapons that they can shoot you perfectly even when you are in stealth. Keep that in mind when playing the Loki. It is in how to, it must be in here. 16 kills, 1.6 million damage. Topic number two, how to beacon rush, okay? So obviously, with this much speed and Pixonic allowing this robot to stealth capture beacons. Even though you, you can have stealth forever, you see me here capturing a beacon, uh, they allowed the robot to keep capture a beacon. And I'm hoping they're gonna evaluate the situation and consider, maybe if it's becoming a problem, consider um, making it so that he can't at least capture beacons while stealthed. This may need to be looked at, right? So what I've done here, I just ran through on Canyon onto their base beacon. And even though this right here is a god player, these dudes from gods, uh, there, there's two of them and they play very well. They have fully maxed mark to pure meta hangers, pure Ao Chun, Ares and, and invaders, like the maximum level and boosted and last stand and everything on them, uh, last stand I think on most of the robots, and he's spawning in with an Ares, right, it's like the strongest thing you can run, but I've got this guy, and you know what I do, I just bait his, uh, he doesn't have quantum radar apparently, so I'm just gonna wait for his uh, weapon mode to fire empty, and now I'm gonna kill him. And, uh, and I stay on the beacon too, he's got last stand, I got last stand, and since we both have last stand, it's equal again, and that means bye bye Ares, right? Uh, the Ares doesn't stand a chance, his only way to win this would have been now to have Quantum Raider. With a Quantum Raider he would have forced me to drop my stealth because he would have seen me anyways. And, uh, and because I had no cover to run into, right? I'm standing in the middle of the open right here, and I had no cover to hide behind. So my only option would have been to unstealth and fight and try my best. And if he gets to lock me down and I can't walk into his shield, then he got me. But without the Quantum Raider, you should be able to kill an Ares all the time when you have high power DPS shotguns. Especially when you manage to lock him down. By the way... I want to show you an absolute skill player. It's a Russian player. I'm not sure how to say the name. I'm sorry. I don't. I can't read the Kyrillic letters uh, and and uh, you know translate that into my uh, letters or alphabet. But um, he is a very skillful player. He flew up here onto the ledge. Right. You see him here flying. He's flying, flying, flying. He lands. And now he walks very fast because the hover is a very quick runner. And you see what he's doing now? I expected him to fly over the bridge now. But he's really good what he does. And that surprised me. I've never seen that. He fell down the ledge and then he used his hover to hover into the bridge from down here. That was such an amazing move, buddy. I was so impressed when I saw this because I haven't seen that ever before. And I didn't expect that. I thought, oh, you're giving up on the beacon. Wonderful. And then, wait a minute, how are you here now? What the heck? And then I, it, you know, and then I realized, wow, that was actually a really awesome move. So uh, now I'm trying to be super tricky again. I'm just trying to ignore all that, right? They have a Thunder Fury. 
standing next to me. No, I'm not talking about a legendary sword of World of Warcraft. I'm talking about the Thunder Fury. And uh, he's standing right there, can't do anything yet. But the problem is, look at my health, 144,000. The Vortex Spectre that just jumped? Unfortunately, he has Quantum Raider and I didn't see it. Look at my health. Boom! <laughs> I just took a- wow! That looks awesome. Look, that's how the thunder spread looks when they come in. Cool. Never seen that before in a in a in a stopping picture. Now I turned the beacon white already. I want to turn the beacon blue so I can spawn on it. The problem is this guy and the, uh, the vortex specter they ruin it. I wanted to push him out. Did you see that? I wanted to not let him into the beacon so that I can just get uh, and hold the beacon for myself. And, but the problem is the Vortex Spectre is also in the beacon, right? There's no chance, and as soon as I drop my stealth, the Thunder Fury is just gonna destroy the living heck out of me. So, um, yeah, unfortunately that one did not work. But let's make a speed test, Loki versus Hellburner. Who's faster on the beacon? I'm running with as much speed as I can have. Uh, okay, you could argue that maybe I haven't taken the direct path, but I didn't want to run and fall down the ramp, I wanted to run straight forward. And you see the Hellburner is actually faster when he's running in max speed. And that shows me that Pixonic has really made a good 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 call with the speed with the speed with the Loki. It's not the fastest robot necessarily, right? At some point in time, the Hellburner, we would pa run past him because he can't do this forever with his health. Um, but you saw here, he reached the beacon on Yamantau uh, a good three or four seconds faster than we did. And that's crazy. I didn't expect that. I thought that Loki was going to be faster. So uh, good to see that, uh, that it's not. And also the Strider on my last video with the uh, Loki, uh, the Strider was, we were on the same map right here, and we spawned here to the upper right on the uh, on the, on the the high platform here, and uh, uh, myself with the Loki and the Strider, we were both running towards this beacon right here, okay? And the Strider arrived only a second after me. Okay, however, he used all his dashes for it and from this moment on he wouldn't have, you would have had no more dashes So from that point on I'm just gonna run away from him But until this first beacon I was actually not that much faster than he was So I'm leaving the beacon here for my team to cap because I know what I can do with this much speed With this much speed and the always active stealth they can't get this beacon unless they send a Kamiho Strider or something super fast here, here right? They wanted to send the Sniper um, Fury uh, and just snipe and capture the beacon at the same time. That's something normal, but with a robot that fast for such a long time, I was able to reach this beacon first and this guy as a Sniper has absolutely no chance against the brawling DPS of this thing here. But I'm not even going to risk it, see? The way I kill him, I'm, cu I'm killing him in a way where I don't even take any real damage. I'm just gonna corner shoot him. Why would I, why should I expose myself to his DPS, you know? If I have a choice and I can, you know, cloak myself onto the silo and just corner shoot, why, why should I not be doing that, right? All right, Quantum Raider activated here and boom, boom, boom. Before the Mercury explodes, hopefully. Ah, he did explode, but we were too far away. And then drop the stealth immediately, right? So since this is a how to Loki video, I felt like it's very important to also add this aspect here where um, um, to show you that you have now access to the very far beacons that are usually belong to the enemy team. You now have access to those with a Loki if you do it right. And by the way, here's another trick. Maybe I shouldn't be saying that to you guys because if I tell you this, then you all know and next time I am here, then you can use this against me. Hmm, I'm on a pickle right now. All right, I'm gonna tell you, okay? <laughs> uh, it's this building here to the left, this farm building, whatever it is. Uh, it's actually not, like, it, it is an obstacle that blocks your robot, but you can shoot through it. See, I'm now behind it, and every shot I do gets perfectly through this building. Unfortunately, I thought the Falcon knows that too, and that's why I walked away from it any again, you know? But I think the Falcon actually didn't know that because he was looking the other way then after a second or so and maybe he actually wasn't aware of this uh, of the uh, of this trick. This building, this particular building right there does not represent an obstacle for you. You can just shoot right through that. You cannot walk through it, but you can shoot through it with all your DPS. Now, using the tier here, that's a video also coming up. Maybe it's already up, I don't know. 
Uh, if the tier video is already up, check it out in the upper right corner where I linked it for you. I was trying to lock him down and make him use his shield early, right? What an Ares loves to do is just run at you and not use his shield for as long as possible and then use the shield to kill you, right? Like in this case also here again, I'm starting to shoot at him, but he has last stand. I believe he has, I'm not quite sure, I think so. And um, he's uh, another, he's got the next shield ready. So I'm hiding here behind the silos getting this guy and this guy is also done and then at the end before I die I'm trying to take this guy with me and boom there you go another inquisitor bites the dust uh, although it wasn't my kill but I seriously did the damage on that one so yeah uh, what do you think guys of the Loki do you also think that the halo Loki is the best one the strongest one by far I personally think so I believe so yeah um, let me once again target whenever I get the chance to target an Ares. I do that immediately It's the most uh, important target to be killed every little bit of damage done is very important and valuable on the Ares and uh, Also keep in mind uh, When you manage to activate his shield very early on because he felt like it was time to do that uh, and then you know Oh man, he's gonna open up with his next salvos. Now I'm getting hit by the second Ares from his weapon built-in fire ability, you know Getting this guy. I wanted to quick switch over to this dude there, but I didn't manage to do this. But I think we can now bring down this Ares, or maybe he's got last stand. No, he's got the next shield. Do you see how quick the shield comes back up? You can almost not fight these guys. By the time you want to fire at him again, he's got his shield back already. It's crazy. That's why I say I feel like the, the Ares needs a bit of a... Um, a bit of a short, uh, longer cooldown on that, uh, on that ability, because it really covers so much of his robot. It is so strong. Um, but yeah, once again, also here, you guys can tell me what you think. I guess those of you who gotten themselves an Ares and spent some, uh, you know, resources and time and effort leveling them up will probably disagree. Uh, but in the name of fair balancing, I think uh, three, four seconds longer on the cooldown would, wouldn't hurt the balancing. It would actually be the right thing, my opinion. Uh, but also here, I'm glad to hear uh, to read what you guys have to say. So yeah, let's leave it like that, guys. Thank you. No, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it <laughs> for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You have a have a good one, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.